How is it going everyone? Matt Grego here and today we're filming another video because we're keeping the content rolling. I post a lot of full day eatings, I post some cheat days, but I'm going to show you what my cleaner day of eating looks like, okay? Because I never film it because usually I'm like, ah, do people want to see it? But I'm like, okay, I'm going to show them it anyway. Today I'm going to show you what my clean day of eating looks like. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. No wasting time. Here's this wonderful breakfast for today, meal one. It's meal one, not breakfast, but it's breakfast, meal one. It was spooky time here, so got the cup with the water. We got some flavored water in there, okay? Don't get mad at me. Put some flavored water in there. The liquid drops, nothing crazy. Then we have the pink salt that is gonna go on these right now. Well, in a second, so go on here in a second. This is already on there, that's the no added sugar, Heinz tomato ketchup, really good. This is a prep hack if you're on prep or if you're trying to save calories, put this on your on your eggs or whatever instead of ketchup. This is a lot better of an option. So we have a cup of egg whites right here with the ketchup I showed you with the pink salt, which will be going there shortly. Then we have the cream of rice, 80 grams of cream of rice with a scoop of isolate. And there's, ac there's actually macadamia oil in this too, so I forgot to put that in there. So simple meal one, I want to digest really well because we're training legs. I don't want it to sit heavy. The last thing you want to do when you're training legs is have any digestive issues or anything going on. So I want my stomach to be nice and okay and not feeling shitty. So an easy to digest meal, nothing crazy. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit and then we're gonna head to the gym. But I am gonna show you what we're gonna be doing around training and before training. So let's let this meal digest quick. How to get my keys. Can't get in the car without the keys. Need the keys. All right. Let's go get this one. And it's been hot as shit here in PA. So hot the devil's been talking to you when you're out here, I tell you. Come on, man. Now we're talking, now we're in business. Gym bag, pre-workout, perfect. This, close this. Let's get back to business. Boom, boom, boom. All right, here's what's going down. Got this old ass bodybuilding.com shaker. I don't even know how old it is. This thing has, this is from when I was like, damn, I might've got this when I first started even training almost. This might be like 10 years old. This is our second step. We don't need that. We don't need that yet. We need this. We need the pre-workout right here. I don't know. Free, you know, free shout out today, you know, for pre-workouts, I guess. Most of sport, that's what I'm using today. I don't really give the free product shouts, but this is what I'm using today. Feeling generous today, you know? Feeling one of those days. Yeah, it's a little bit more than a half. Put it in there. The next step to our equation is to get this pink salt right here. So we got the pink salt, you saw it earlier. We use some of that. I'm just a mess today, golly. The pre-workout, we're gonna put four shakes of this. So we have the pre-workout here with the salt. I'm gonna put some water in there. Not too much, just a little bit. Yeah, a little more. Right about there, that's good. Oh, this pre-workout's delicious, actually. Let me put some ice in here. Now we're making power moves. That was a good good choice, good call. Recommend that. The flavor is white dragon. It kind of tastes like a lemonade, so ice lemonade, pre-workout, can't go wrong. All right, so we have the pre-workout situated. Now we're gonna move on to the intra, which is very important, so watch along closely, okay? Watch along. All right, so we're gonna use Gatorade. Gonna put it in this right here. Might not fit, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make sure that we get the Gatorade in. You cannot make this shit up. Look at this Gatorade right at the edge. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the creatine, okay? Creatine. I just threw all my Gatorade stuff in there quick. Okay, so don't yell at me, all right? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to recycle these. Don't get upset, okay? Creatine is in the black shaker. That is our intro for today. We're gonna put some pink salt in there as well. So same thing as you saw in the pre-workout shake. Four to five cranks. So yes, that is what I do pre and intra. Um, the EA I have right now isn't really doing good with my digestion, so I'm not gonna put that in, but usually I put that in there too. So a little free game for you guys. That's my intro and post. Now we're gonna go train. I hope you guys enjoy that little supplement segment. That's kind of catchy, supplement segment. Supplement segment. Okay, anyway, let's go train. All right, so we got done training. I didn't 
record any sets like an idiot, but I did get some thoughts. I will tell you that I did get some thoughts. I'm gonna share them with you quickly before I have my post-workout meal. So a lot of people in the gym are training for hours on end. You know, they're doing volume, volume, volume. And I just, you know, I do like volume training, but it has to be done right. It has to be calculated. You need to think about what you're doing. One of my best lessons in training was to just cut back volume a little bit and push those working sets all out. So you're not, you know, doing like one set, you know, two sets and then leave in the gym. Like you're doing like maybe like 10 to 12. If you wanna go a little bit higher, 15, but those sets are to, they're like to failure. You're pushing all out. You're moving pretty decent weight. So if you're one of those people who are in the gym for hours and you're not seeing the results that you think you should be getting, maybe try backing off on volume a little bit. It might do a lot for you, you know? So that's one lesson I learned and I wanna pass it to you all. Back off the volume a little bit. Train your ass off, go to failure. You know, if it's two working sets, that might be all you need. If you're going hard on them, it's gonna work. Like you're gonna get a good overload, you're gonna tax the muscle. You just gotta make sure you're going hard, so. Ah, needs to be said. Push hard, think about what you're doing. Don't do excessive volume, make sure you're recovering, that's huge. So a couple working sets on each exercise might do you really good. Play with it, play with the volume, but let's get on to this post-workout meal. So pretty simple, I got this protein I talked about the other day. This shit is fire, we know that. So we're gonna have two scoops of this. Come on, open up. And we're gonna get these rice cakes out. We're having a little trouble here, guys, all right? Not, not the best extraction of these rice cakes. All right, there we go. And there's jelly in here, too. This jelly is my preferred jelly for today. Strawberry, I'm a big fan of strawberry jam. We're gonna put this on three of these rice cakes. We're gonna slam it post-workout. Fast digesting, gets in the muscles, get the recovery going, get the glucose in there, you know, glycogen. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing. And then we're gonna be eating a meal probably in an hour or two, probably two hours. That's when I get a max break. All right, you know the scenario, you know the scene. Back in the car, about to eat this meal. Let me show what we're working with. Put that over there. All right, so this is a lot of stuff in like one little pile if you look at it quickly, okay? So we got, we got the chicken, we got the rice, we got the cashews, and we got mac oil all on this. And then we have coconut aminos on this as well. So the other meals didn't have as much fat as this one. So this has the, the chicken, which has minimal fat, but it does have some, very little. It has the cashews, which has a good amount of fat, and it has the mac oil, which has a pretty good amount of fat as well. So more fat in this meal, we have cup and a half of rice. So this is a pretty big meal right here. This is meal number three, if you want to count that shake and rice cake as a meal. You know, I do like to have heavier carbs on leg day, but I just got over like a little stomach bug. So I'm kind of taking it easy on food around. I'm trying to just ease myself back into it. Like tonight I might have like steak and like my homemade fries, but like right now with these meals, I'm keeping it a little bit simple because I don't want to upset my stomach when it was kind of not too well for a little bit. It really sucked, I'll tell you that right now. But now we're feeling better, so we're gonna eat some clean meals. Like I said, clean meal day of eating. This is how normal meals are looking like usually. Yeah, so we're gonna eat this meal, then we're gonna work for probably another couple hours, and then we're gonna go home, and I think we're gonna have a nice steak meal. I haven't decided yet, but it's gonna be something good. Can I get a small cold brew? Yeah, and, and uh, can I get two Splendas? Yes, and then can I get, do you have any chocolate frosted donuts? Yeah, chocolate, my boo. No chocolate frosted? Huh? No chocolate frosted? No. Um, do you have any strawberry frosted? Yeah, we do. I have one of those. We are back home. A very good productive day today. I was very happy with today. So we had our meals. I had that coffee earlier. I was at the drive through trying to figure out what I want. And I, was, I don't know why I was saying I was gonna get coffee and espresso. That was just too much. I've been cracked out. I had a pre-workout today, so I can't do that. So I got the coffee, the cold brew. Got my goose, some donuts. You know, can't go wrong with getting the goose, some donuts. And then I went to Wegmans after working and I got some good stuff. I got like asparagus, got steak, potatoes, sweet potatoes, uh, mushrooms, strawberries. So just some essential stuff. I'm gonna make a nice meal here shortly, so I'm gonna show you that. But yeah, I went to Wegmans, got some good shit, man. And now we're gonna make it, I'm hungry, let's go. <laughs> So I told you guys I got this food from Wegmans. I got the food. No, I made the food. You saw the clip there. So it's what we're working with, okay? I do eat vegetables sometimes. Not that much, but I do eat them sometimes. So we got a little asparagus right here. I'm not tracking this, okay? I don't track my veggies. Like, I don't really do it, but... Not tracking the asparagus, but I have little four spears right there. We got these uh, coconut aminos. Very sweet tasting. 
low sodium option. Only 90 milligrams per tablespoon, so that shit's fire. We're gonna put this on, you know, I'll do it for you guys right now. Oh, ooh. thank you. Yeah. Okay. That's good right there. All right, so we have a cup of rice. We have the steak. What steak? I Angus sirloin, it's a good piece of meat. With some mushrooms in there, with some garlic powder and some salt. This is the combo, we got the sugar-free barbecue sauce. This is gonna go down, probably gonna have another meal. Maybe like two, three hours. This should go down pretty easy. Then we're gonna have a nice big meal for tonight because tomorrow's chest day. Gotta fuel up, so I'm not I'm not eating dirty, but I am gonna keep it clean. But it's gonna be a lot of food probably. Maybe some fries. Maybe some fries. With some shrimp, maybe. How about it? <laughs> How about we do that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next meal. I'll meet this quick. What's going on here? Do you want me to Hmm? <laughs> Mmm. It's that sweet taste in rice because of the coconut aminos. I'm telling y'all, you should try it out. Damn, this thing cuts like butter. Okay, let me show them the process, all right? In here, whole bunch of sweet potato fries. Thanks, wait, no. I'm wrong. Need this. Cheesy. <coughs> One. Two. And do a little spritz of this for good measure. That's the salt. That should be good. Yeah. Timing? We don't really know the timing, but we just kind of wing it. Two mac oil, two tablespoon mac oil, three ounces of shrimp. Wait a Something like, I'll, I'll put the correct numbers up. 3.5 ounces of steak that I made earlier. I wanted to eat some dirty food today, I'm not gonna lie, but I didn't. This kind of kept me in check, so it was good. And I'm feeling a little bit leaner recently, which is cool. I've been eating better. I haven't been eating like an asshole. Except for the other day, I ate like an asshole a bit, but being good. Anyway, this is the last meal. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you to my goose for staying awake to film this. I greatly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Goodbye.